Welcome back to this lecture. In this lecture, we are going to be learn about what are the basic data types in C++. A data types determines the type and the operations that can be performed on the data. C++ provides various data types and each data type is represented differently within a computer memory. Classifieds of basic data types in C++ are means there are many data types available in C++. There are classifieds under two categories. First one is built-in or fundamental data types and another one is derived or user-defined data types. Now what are the basic data types? Data types which are fundamental data types data types modifiers derived data types and user defined data types these are the four basic types of the data types first one is fundamental data type data type modifiers derived data type and the user defined data type we have the built-in data types which are character integer float and double so Without these data types, we have void and the boolean data types as well. What are the derived data types? They are the components uh, composed of built-in in data types. Example, array, structure, union, class, and the pointer, etc. So these are derived data types. The user-defined data types are those where which are first declare and define by the user before like we study in our next lecture means after uh, many lectures we are studying structure union class enumerations and the user define means enumerations are the user defined data types so these structure union class and enumerations are our user defined data types now we see what is the character data type so this is the character sorry character and this is our data types then the another data types here is integer then float void and boolean character refers to the alphabet only means a b c d etc so this special characters are defined in the ASCII character set like this one okay now integer are only takes the number like here 4 3 2 4 5 6 or anything 4 5 6 7 okay now float value always take the value as a point like this one okay so the wide void data types is used for specifying an empty parameter list on action and return types for a function and the boolean as you know that it's always work on true and false mean either the value is one and zero means true or false now we see the array so an array is a set of element of the same data types but are refers to by the same name and we see the function now a function is a self contained programs segment that carry out a specific 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 well defined task and the reference is a reference is an alternative name of the variable that is a reference is an elise of of variables in a program now we see the coding example of the data type in C++ I just clear this and here I just write hash include IO stream then here I just write using name space sorry using name space std and integer main okay now see out which is 
the size of character and then here I just write size of and pass the character okay and then here is right which is the byte and here is right and line so end line is a single line break okay now I just copy this and paste it for interior so it is integer and size of sorry it's a size of character and this is the size of integer okay now I just copy this for short integer and here is right short and the integer okay now we just see the output so I just execute and run this code and yes we have an error in this line and this is the less than sign okay and here executed again so you can see the size of character is one byte the size of integer is four and the size of short integer is two i just copy this and paste it for long integer and float and double here i just write for long and for long integer then float and here I just write float and double and this is double okay this is float now run this code and as you can see here character size of the character is one byte integer short short, uh, short which is two long integer which is four float which is four byte and double which is eight byte first of all i just introduce include a library then name space then the main method then c out which is the character of this is the line print the print which is c our uh, size of the character and then this is get the size from character and this is also a print of the bytes which is one so this is a simple example of getting the size of the character integer and float values thanks for watching this lecture see you in next lecture